Hey everyone, Frank here. Uh, tonight I'm going to be playing Virtual Racing for the Sega Genesis. Um, I'm not going to play this for very long, just long enough to maybe get through a race and kind of give my thoughts about it. Um, it's a decent game, but it's not great, and it certainly was surpassed by pretty much every other port of the game ever made. So as I let the uh, beginner course load up here, I should just uh, preface this whole thing with the fact that when this game came out, it cost $90. Uh, it had a special chip in it, the Sega Video Processor, the only game to ever have that chip in it. And like I said, this game cost $90. Nowadays, you can usually get a copy for uh, 10 20 bucks if you know where to look. It's not a very pretty game. Uh, it is impressive when you realize that it's playing on a 16-bit console, uh, but ugh, the frame rate is just garbage. The dithering is uh, nasty. And the controls, while they're okay, um, they're just not as smooth or as friendly as any other port of the game. If I run into uh, anything, you'll watch my car spin out. And while the arcade version was uh, very uh, prone to spinning out, it, it wasn't as bad as this version of the game. Shortly after this version of the game came out, they made a version for the uh, 32X uh, Virtua Fighter Del or Virtua Racing Deluxe, which uh, looked a whole lot better, controlled a whole lot better, and also gave you the ability to play as a Daytona-style car. They also made ports of this game for the uh, Saturn and the PlayStation 2, I believe. I don't think Sega handled either of those ports. Uh, AM, uh, M2 handled the uh, PS2 port, I believe. Um, and of course, there's the uh, port for the Nintendo Switch that recently came out, which is excellent uh the frame rate on this i would say is about maybe 15 20 frames per second uh the switch solid 60 frames per second 1080p widescreen just a beautiful game great draw distance great controls great handling just awesome This game actually makes me kind of sad to uh, play it now. Um, I never actually owned this version of the game. Uh, it was just, you know, too expensive for my taste back in the day. I picked up a copy used about a year or two ago, uh, just as a, uh, you know, a, a, a trivia piece, basically. Um, I prefer the Nintendo Switch version. I actually owned a 32X back in the day, so that was the version of this game I preferred to play. Um, I used to play this game in the arcades before Daytona USA came out. Um, it was nice because, you know, you could sit in the, the cabinet and race your friends and just have a good time. And I kind of miss that about Sega. They used to be the kings of uh, sit-down arcade games like that. Daytona USA, Sega Rally Championship, Virtual On. Uh, even the Virtua Fighter games, even though you didn't sit in the cabinet, those were great as well. Sega has all of this rich, polygon-based heritage that they seem to have just let go by the wayside. Um, they might, you know, do a re-release of Virtua Fighter here and there, but when it comes to uh, re-releasing and, and upgrading their uh, racing games and other games, they just don't seem to care anymore, and that's kind of sad. Didn't exactly do so well in this race, but hey, I actually finished, which is pretty good for me on this version of the game. But like I was saying, it's uh, pretty sad where uh, Sega has uh, fallen these days.
I mean, I realize, you know, Sonic is where the money is at. And they're uh, into various other ventures now. But, uh, man, can't we, you know, can't we get an upgraded Sega Rally Championship for the PS4, or PS5, or Nintendo Switch? Uh, how about Daytona USA 2? Has that ever been released for a home console? Another virtual on fighting game. That Who doesn't love giant mechs? Not sure why I'm playing another race here. Probably because my uh, Street Fighter 2 video that I'm going to upload is still rendering in the background and I need something to uh, occupy my time with. Man, just just look at the uh, ugly polygons. Ugh. Yeah, if I had to pick this game's biggest flaw, it would be the draw distance. I mean, the polygons aren't pretty, the dithering's not pretty. But, I mean, back in the day, this was considered a, a technical marvel. But that draw distance kills it. The uh, draw distance on the 32X version of the game, while it wasn't a lot better, was better, better enough, and the uh, increased polygon detail of that version was just enough that you could actually play it and know what the hell you were doing. And in this one, there are times where it just feels like everything's sneaking up on you. Or like the dark gray aqua color pavement will blend in with the green grass and you might overshoot something. With that said, I, I would heartily recommend, like I said before, if you haven't played the Nintendo Switch version of this game, you owe it to yourself to do so. Uh, it's routinely on sale for like five bucks. Totally worth it. Certainly, hell, it's worth ten bucks in my view. Uh, Just beautiful courses, nice widescreen vantage point, draw distance for days. The way the way uh, enhanced port of a game should be. Makes me sad that Daytona USA doesn't get the same treatment, but eh, I have that on my uh, Xbox One downstairs thanks to the uh, Xbox 360 backward compatibility. Which, props to Microsoft for uh, making backwards compatibility a, a standard on their consoles, because if not for that, a lot of these old games would be, you know, just disappearing or a challenge to acquire and play. I mean, Sega's not giving a crap about their library, so at least Microsoft's doing something to help us continue to access it. And you can get most of Sega's classic Polygon games on the Xbox One through Xbox 360 and Xbox backward compatibility. Uh, I'm trying to think about the games that aren't available on there. Virtual Fighter 2 is, Daytona is, uh, one of the virtual on games is, I believe. I think it might be Oratorio Tangram. I think Sega Rally is also available. Don't quote me on that one though. And of course, Outrun. To just a marvelous port of OutRun. Alright, I've rambled on enough. I'm going to upload my Street Fighter video, and I'm going to upload this. Thanks for watching, everybody.